bienvenidos to the firstest of first of La Coquette's recipes. Today, we're making cinnamon rolls, but with a twist. We're making cinnamon roll waffles. I sincerely adore waffles. The recipe that we're making today resembles more the Belgian waffles than the American ones. And the difference lies in the dough, which is a lot sweeter in the Belgian waffles. These are the ingredients, but you can also find them in the description of the video and on the blog. Oh, and one thing to keep in mind is to always have a lot of butter to spread around. You're gonna need it. Okay, so first we'll make the dough. We're not just gonna go buy some prepared rolls and stick them in the waffle maker. We're gonna make things the real and messy way. We combine the sour cream, milk, sugar, melted butter, and vanilla, and whisk it with a hand mixer until it's smooth. Then we bring down the moisture of the mix by adding the flour, the baking powder and soda, and the salt. I'm going to beat them only to make a lumpy dough. Watch out, you don't want to overbeat it. While I'm cleaning these beaters, I'll let you in on a little tip. We beat the dough only until it's lumpy because that actually makes for softer and fluffier rolls. And believe me, you want fluffy. Ready to roll? Grab your loyal rolling pin, flour it a little bit, and let's start the rolling. Okay, so you're going to try and roll it into a rectangle but I'm not really good at shapes. Don't worry if it doesn't come out as even as you want, because you'll fix that later. Now for the tasty inside. What gives the cinnamon rolls its popular flavor is this mixture of brown sugar and cinnamon. Brown sugar, as you may know, comes from sugar cane, unlike regular sugar that comes from beets. Now the taste is almost the same, but when baking, it's important to keep in mind that the darker the brown sugar, the more heat resistant. So in other words, it means that this would not get burned in the waffle maker. Now mix both dry ingredients, cinnamon and brown sugar. You can do this by hand or with a spatula. Now it's time to channel your inner painter. Grab a brush and start spreading the melted butter onto the rollout dough. While keeping a half an inch or so at the end, because we'll use that margin when we roll it up. Now, like a fairy, spread some of the delicious cinnamon sugar on top of the butter surface. You want it all covered up. When you're done, start rolling the dough tightly, making sure it's as even as possible in all parts. It will probably be smaller at some point, but my tip is to fold it as many times as needed to even out with the rest of the roll, like this. Once you get to the end, you'll spread a little bit more butter on the part that you left clear to paste it and finish the roll. Make sure it's as tight as possible and you can start the cutting. Use a clean, sharp knife, preferably with no teeth. Your rolls have to be about 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters in width. Now it's time to make the waffles. So make sure your waffle maker is on high and that you spread some butter on before each batch. You can even use the leftover butter you have from before. You're going to place the rolls on top of it and just close it. It'll take around two, three minutes to cook. No cinnamon roll is complete without its frosting, so we'll do that now. With a hand mixer, start beating the room temperature butter, the sour cream, and then you can gradually add the confectioner's sugar, maple syrup, and vanilla. If your frosting is a bit dry, try adding some milk to it. 
the cinnamon rolls frosting is usually a bit liquid. Now that the frosting is done, the only thing left is to pour it all on top of your delicious waffles and enjoy. Thank you for watching and see you next time on La Cuquette.